Today I'm going to make a blanket chest. Some of you may refer to this as a hope chest or a storage trunk, but whatever you call this, uh, I'm going to refer to this as a blanket chest. We're trying to do some organization in our house and with three kids that can be difficult, but at some point in time each of our kids have received a personalized blanket or quilt or whatever and so we just need somewhere to store all of this stuff. So this, this is the perfect project. It's real easy to do. It can be a built in a day so anybody can do this. The entire project uh, consists of one by fours and some plywood. So according to the plan the first thing that we're going to do here is cut everything down to its final length and I'm doing that here at the miter saw. And so the next step that I want to do after I get all of those cut down is take it to the table saw and I'm going to just clean up one edge to get a real nice and crisp edge. And then what I'll do is flip it flip all the parts over, take it back to the table saw, and then according to, to the plan, I'll rip everything to its final width. So at this point, we've got everything to its final width and length. And I chose to do this with pocket holes. It just makes things fast and quick and easy. So here, I'm putting everything together. I'm using a square just to make sure my corners are nice and square and at 90 degrees. And so I just put all of these frames together. We're gonna end up with four frames. We want to measure and make sure we have our center dividers uh, in the right location and we glue and screw them and put it together and we end up with four frames. And so once we have that part of the project done, then we can move on to putting them all together. And so that's what I'm doing here, um, putting the four frames, uh, the four sides. I get two long sides, two short sides, and we're assembling this in the same manner as we did the face frames. The next step we would go to the table saw and cut down a piece of plywood that is going to be the bottom. And so I pre-drilled all these pocket holes, installed it in the bottom of the chest, and so now it's starting to take shape and look like a piece of, piece of furniture. Uh, and so the insides, the, side, the panels, are also made from plywood. And I'm using three quarter inch plywood here. You can use a uh, quarter inch, it'd be just fine. Um, but I'm marking on that this is going to be the inside of the chest and so what I'm marking here are some uh, hole locations to drill into those center dividers of those frames to kind of pull everything nice and tight. And so once I get all of that done, uh, I chose to take this to a, a, a friend of mine's cabinet shop. He's showing me a few tricks here about each joint to where you cut a, a V groove in that and allows the paint to lay in that groove and so it won't crack when the wood moves and that kind of thing. And so we just put wood filler and some of the uh, imperfections and sand all that out. So we have a nice, clean, flat surface all the way around. And so he's going to teach me a little bit about spraying in this, uh, in this project. So I'm learning a lot here. So he's mixing up the paint. And this is right here is one of my first ever sprays that I'm doing. And so he's just helping me along. I think this is probably one of the uh, sides or even the top that we're spraying here. And it's uh, really interesting the way all this comes together and just makes it for a nice, really good finish. Actually, all of this is just primer. We're gonna get to the, the final paint here in just a second. And so we're gonna slide these panels in. We slide the long sides in first and all of that will fit nicely so you can see how it's gonna take shape. And so now the end pieces will slide into place. And then once you have all of that done, once you have everything in place, uh, the holes that I pre-drilled previously, um, I'm using, these are the holes that I'm uh, using to attach this to those center dividers in the outside frames. And so that just eliminates the gap in the frame and the piece of plywood there. Now we can go to the final stages of paint. I'm gonna just paint the inside of this and maybe do a little bit. I'm gonna turn this over to my to my friend that knows a little bit, little bit more about this so he can uh, spray on a nice even coat for the final finish and so that's what's going on here is the final coat of paint this was a really good experience I wouldn't you know change this for anything I learned a lot as we bring this out you can just see that nice gloss of course it'll dry as it dries it won't be as glossy but it just gives it a really nice finish and so after all of that after it dries I bring it back to my shop we're gonna install this uh, frame over the top of the chest here and so this is going to cover up all the plywood um, and just give it a nice finished lid um, appearance and this is the top and so 
the top will go on. We'll put a, uh, a long piano type hinge along the back side, and then we'll just pre drill some holes for each hole location. Uh, but what I do is go ahead and just find the center ones and attach the hinge uh, with the center holes uh, loosely. I don't tighten those down just yet, but once I get those in there um, and it's not real tight, then I can make sure the hinge is even on both ends when I mark and pre-drill those hole locations. And so once I have all of those locations marked, then I can go through and pre-drill uh, each hole location. And so once I have that, I can insert uh, each screw. And I'm using a manual screwdriver just so I don't strip it out with an, a cordless screw uh, drill or an electric screw, screwdriver or whatever you might use. A manual screwdriver gives you that resistance to know when to stop. This is the final result of the blanket chest. And I have to say that I'm very pleased with how this came out. Hopefully this will be a piece of furniture that we can keep in our home for many, many years and get a lot of good use out of. So if you are interested in building this for yourself, you can find plans over on our website at stoneandsons.net slash plans. And I'll also leave a link down in the description for you that will take you directly to the plans page. And while you're there at our website, please sign up for our newsletter where you can join our community and receive updates of what's going on in our workshop. If you're not a subscriber to our YouTube channel here, uh, please consider hitting that red button and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. And thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. See ya.